In this video we're going to work through two basic exam type uh, length of arc questions and um, they're slightly different both of them but um, we'll work through these and see uh, see what we get out. These two questions here are questions I've asked my uh, my own class to do and uh, this is uh, a good way to, to review the answers to the questions. Here we go. Right, so for question two here, what we have is uh, a table is uh, in the shape of a sector of a circle, okay, with a radius, so we can see the radius here is 1.6 metres. The angle at the centre is shown here as 130 degrees, okay. I have to calculate the perimeter. Now, this type of question doesn't tell you that it's a length of arc question in any way when you go into your exam, but, but certainly when you're seeing the perimeter and we're seeing a curved um, edge that's here is going to be a length of arc uh, type of question. Right, so to start off with the length of arc, uh, let's work that one out first of all. So we know that the length of arc is going to be equal to, it's a fraction of the circumference, isn't it? So it's not the whole circumference of a circle, so it's really a fraction of the circumference. And you know that the circumference goes all the way around the circle, okay? Um, and uh, we know that how to work the circumference out, we need uh, pi times the diameter to work that out. So here we're given the radius. So it tells us the radius here is 1.6. So the diameter of the circle must be all the way out to here. So it must be double the 1.6. So the diameter is going to be equal to 3.2 meters. Okay. The fraction that we're going to work with here, we know that this fraction here is, or this angle here is 130 degrees. So the fraction is 130 all over a full turn, which is 360 degrees. So 130 degrees all over 360 degrees and instead of of the we'll just say that that's going to be a times. So there's my formula that I'm going to work this question out with. It'll be a calculator question for this one so let's go ahead and just um, put it into our calculator. That'll give us the length of the arc. So if you can see that there what we'll go for is we're going to go for 130. So 130 all over the 360. We'll multiply that by uh, using the pi button. Wait a minute. Uh, just delete that one. Move the cursor to the, the right. We'll multiply it by pi. We'll then times that by the diameter. And remember the diameter was uh, 3.2. Instead of being 1.6 for the radius, we're just going to double that. So 3.2. I'm going to hit the equals button. I'm going to get uh, 52 over 45 pi. But... SD button and that should give me the answer for the length of arc. So it's 33.63 and we're working in meters and I'm going to say that's two, two decimal places just now. I'm going to work to two decimal places. The question's given in one place so I'm just going to work one degree more of uh, accuracy on that one. Right, so remember the question was asking me about the perimeter of this, uh, this table. So the perimeter is going to be equal to the length of the arc, which we've just calculated up above, plus the two straight edges, okay? Because I'm going to be thinking about the length of arc, this edge here and this edge here will give me the perimeter of the table. So I'm going to go for 3.63, I'm going to add on to that 1.6, and I'm going to add on to it the other 1.6, so that's the two edges of the table that's here. So I can use the calculator for that, or I can just add it up. Um, but uh, definitely if it's a calculator question, use your calculator for it. That would be 6.83, and that's going to be in metres. And we'll just say that's two, two decimal places. Okay, And that would be our final answer. Okay. Moving on from there, let's look at uh, another question. So this question here, again a basic one, but uh, if we read the question, we, we get to see that it's a length of arc question again. So the Yummy Ice Cream Company uses this logo here, okay, Yummy Ice Cream Company. Um, it is made up from an isosceles triangle, so we can see in this diagram here 
There's the isosceles triangle there. So the sides 6 and 6 are given. And the radius of this uh, sector part is 3.3. .3. So the radius is 3.3 .3 in this one. Okay, so from the, there to there, 3.3. .3. Okay, and again, this question here, we're asked to calculate the perimeter of the logo. So that would be the length of the arc, quite a big arc, that one there. Then I'll add on this side and that side, and that's going to give me the full perimeter. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'll do some of my working up here. That should be fine here. So we'll work from the, the length of arc. Okay, let's work out the length of arc first of all. Length of arc is going to be equal to, so remember that's the fraction of the circumference. Okay, so remember that fraction is going to be the angle at the centre, all over 360. And what we'll do is we'll multiply that by the circumference. And remember the circumference is just pi times the diameter. Diameter again important here, because what we're given is the radius. So we'd know that the diameter is going to be 2 times the radius, which is 2 times 3.3. And that's going to give us 6.6 .6 and we're working in centimetres. So that's what we're going to be using there. So substituting our values in. So the angle here, it's not going to be 100 degrees. Okay, because 100 degrees is not part of the sector. Okay, of that major sector, it's the minor sector. So to work out the angle that's going to be here. So the angle is going to be 360 We'll take 100 away from that, because that's what's been used up on this side here, at the minor side, and that'll give us 260 degrees that's left. So the angle that I'm going to use is 260 over 360. That might be a wee tripping up point there, okay? We'll multiply that by pi, and we'll multiply it by the diameter. And remember again, diameter must be used for this. Straight into the calculator with it. Let's work it out. So 260 all over the 360. Move the cursor in. We'll multiply that using the pi button. And then we'll times that by 6.6. .6. And what you should get there is my answer once I press, press the SD button. So that's going to be, I'm going to take it to two decimal places again. So what we've got is we've got 14.97. And that's going to be centimetres. And that's two, two decimal places. Okay, so that's just worked out the length of the arc. So the bit that we've worked out already is from here, all the way around this circle here, all the way around, just to here. Okay, so remember we've still to work out the perimeter. The perimeter is going to be... It's the length of arc that we've just worked out, that one there. And we're going to add on to that... This side, which is going to be 6 centimetres, this side here, which is another 6 centimetres. So that gives us the distance all the way around the shape once we go around there. So let's add these all up. So I've got my length of arc, which was 14.97. I'm going to add on 12 to that. And that should give me 26.97 centimetres to 2 decimal places. And that there should be my final answer. So that's two of the basic type exam questions. I say that they're basic questions because normally the more complicated ones were working backwards to find out an angle, working backwards to find out the radius. Um, but, but these ones here could appear in the National 5 exam. Okay, cheers.